my name is Matt, and a few weeks ago, I ended up making a video of making this bourbon cup. Now, when I posted a picture of this on Reddit, I got a lot of replies about how it would leak like crazy and it would never hold water unless if I coated it in resin. Well, I didn't do that. So far, it's held up pretty well. Which got me to thinking, just how effective are different types of waterproofing that we as woodworkers use? Well, I have a whole bunch of these wooden bowls made out of pine from a previous video. So it gives me an idea. Let's test this. So let's get started by preparing each bowl in a unique way. And I think the best way to show this is just to montage it all together. So I'm starting out with the fire burning as well as adding some wax. And then my horrible attempt to resin coat. And the very easy attempts to just submerge it in water and submerge it in mineral water. While this does seem like a lot of stuff, it goes pretty quickly. Now that I have all the bowls finished, it's time to fill them all with water. Now the way that I wanted to do this was I wanted to get some readings of the actual bowl's weight as well as the amount of water added. I'm just using a scale to do that. I'm going through with each bowl and just filling it up and recording all the information. I can just reset the scale after I record the weight of each bowl. That way it gives me a really easy reading of how much water I have in each bowl. Now, as I was doing this, most of the bowls were holding up a lot better than I expected. But, I did notice that there was a big problem with the mineral oil bowl, which was leaking like crazy. Now I can just reset all these. and let them sit here for a few hours. And let's just quickly time lapse. Now that it's been about six hours, I can go through and see how much water was lost. I made sure to include a plastic cup so I'd get a reading for how much evaporation went out. And I could also compare that to the resin coated cup to see how much the surface area actually affected the evaporation rate. Besides this, up to this point, my main expectation was the most successful non-resin coating bowl was going to be the mineral oil. However, I noticed that the mineral oil had a lot that ended up being lost. After examining the bowl itself, I noticed that there was a significant crack on the mineral oil bowl. To take this into account, I wanted to make sure and retry that sample. So I used the water bowl after a few days had gone by and it had dried out a little bit and I submerged it in mineral oil and then repeated this experiment. Now with the mineral oil bowl being retested, I'd like to go over the results a little bit more. Looking at the actual results from the project, I noticed that the most successful of the non-resin coating bowls 
was the paste wax, which really surprised me. That was followed up by the mineral oil and the water bowl. The least successful, which I expected, which I actually expected to fail much more spectacularly, was the Shoshogi bun bowl. In all, most of these ways are fairly effective forms of waterproofing, and if you're not going to use resin to waterproof your bowl, you're probably going to be fine. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!